Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 23 in my powerful tools of Affinity Photo. And this time I'm going to show you how to create texture in Voronoi. Voronoi can be used in mosaic looks, but you can also use it to create texture. So let's get started. So I pulled in this photo from Unsplash. I just typed animals and I have the link to this photo in the description. And what I'm going to do is create a texture on this photo. And I thought it'd be an interesting thing to do. And it's not hard at all. So I'm going to use a live filter rather than a regular filter in this case. So I'm going to go to layer, new live filter in color and Voronoi. And Voronoi gives you this crackling look. And this is great if you want to create mosaics. You can go as big or as small as you want. You can make selections and make some things bigger and some smaller. And I did have a tutorial on this way back when. And I'm sure you can find it on my channel. Just type in mosaic and it'll appear on my channel. But this time I was looking at it and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make it create a texture? So I was playing around with it. And the difference is here, first of all, there's line width, and that makes the, the lines, the outlines of all the tiles very thick. And then this cell size, you can make the cells very big or very small. So if you lower the line, you could see things like that. But what I did was I went very thin and I went very small with the cell size. And I was playing around and I thought this really created a very cool texture. Let me pull the line width down a little bit more and the cell down a little bit more. And I'm not sure you can see it on YouTube. I am recording in 4K, so you might be able to see it. But what I'll do is I'll go to View, Zoom, and 100%, which is Controller Command 1. And now you can see how the texture works. And now that you get it closer, you can go like, really fine tune it so you could see you can still see the elephant and you could decide what the line width of that texture is which will make the texture thicker and as I grow the cell just a tiny bit like that and I think that looks pretty good it's really really thin and let's go back to the screen and it has a nice uh, look to it and then I think I'll just for the fun of it I think I will add a new layer fill, new fill layer, so, sorry. And I'm going to make that a gradient. And I'll go right across, maybe I'll go up and down like this. And I am going to make that gradient over here in the, on top, the blend mode will be overlay. And then I'm going to click the top I'll change that. I'll keep that a blue. And then I'll go to the bottom one. And I'll give that a little bit of an orange. Like that. And I could play around with this so I can bring this up and have more orange here. And then I can go back to the Veronoi. Let me just deselect. You can see this really a very cool texture. Um, I can go back to the fill if I, if I think it's too much. I can change my colors, of course bring more blue in on top, change the color of the blue, maybe it's too light. So if I double click on the blue instead of the blue, I'll go a darker blue. And that gives it a really pretty look like that, a blue and orange. And again, I can make the sky come up or down. I can even bring this down and bring more blue in. And when you look at it, the texture gives it a nice look. And if I don't, if I want to change that texture since it's live, I can make the cell size bigger or smaller. I could have cut out the elephants if I wanted to and not have the Voronoi on the elephants. I could have just had it on the background. But I kind of like the look. The thicker I go here, the darker it gets because that's my line width, but the cells are very small. So it's just a simple technique. I'm sure you'll find ways to use it. Besides that, I can also change the opacity and lower that on the gradient so I can give it a little bit like that. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. It only takes a second 
to click those buttons <laughs> and it does help my channel and I really do appreciate it and have a great day. Bye.